So you have a JVC Roku TV and you have the issue with the remote controller where basically it has a delayed or like a, a slow response. For instance, if I want to move down to ESPN, I should be able to just tap it once and within one second it's going to go right down, okay? If you have a delayed or um, slow response, basically you click down and then it takes one or two seconds before it goes down. Or same thing, even if you want to go ahead and open up like an app, you go ahead and click on okay, you should open up right away. You, should, you shouldn't have to wait three, four, five seconds, okay? I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running. So first thing is make sure your TV is on and then wherever your cable is plugged into, the power cable, TV is on. What I want you to do is go ahead and pop the plug out. Now I want you to wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds is up, go ahead and plug your TV back in and then go ahead and turn it back on. Now, once the TV is booted back up, go ahead and try. See if you have any like delay or slow response, okay? If it's still not working, then we're gonna to go to the next step here. So for this next step, what I want you to do is grab the remote and I want you to go ahead and pop the back lid off and go ahead and take out the batteries here. Now with the batteries out, I want you to go ahead and grab the remote no batteries are in there. Grab the remote. You get the power button right here. I'm going to press and hold this power button for 15 seconds. Just press and hold it for 15 seconds. Don't let go. After 15 seconds, go ahead and let go of the power button. Now what I want you to do is basically spam every single button on here. Okay, start with the power button here. Left, right, up, down, okay. Every single button, even down here. Even the uh, volume up and down rockers here on the side. Mute button every single button because basically what happens is if you get any kind of like water or um, like hand lotion or even sweat, soda, coffee, dust, lint, if it gets into one of the buttons, it can cause all kinds of issues on the remote, okay? So keep pressing every single button on here and just go crazy. Every single button on here. And then give it a couple of whacks. Make sure all the buttons are all nice and loose. Now go ahead and put the batteries back in. Once you put the batteries back in, don't put the um, lid on yet. Just put the batteries back in and then see if the remote is working properly. If it's still not working, and then, then I want you to do the same thing again. Go ahead and take out the batteries. Press and hold this power button for 15 seconds. Do not let go. Hold for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, let go. And then spam. Just go crazy with every single button on here. Even on the sides again, and don't forget, you want to give it a nice couple wax like that. Put their batteries back in, and then see if your remote is functioning the way it's supposed to. If it's still down, repeat this process, okay? Take the batteries out, do it six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, okay? If you've done this ten times, it's still not working, then what I would advise is go ahead and pull the batteries out, get yourself a different pair of batteries. And then with the batteries out, do the same thing, okay? With the power button and all that other spamming. And then put the new batteries in there and then see if it works, okay? Like I said, at least 50% of you guys should be up and running now. So give me a thumbs up if it worked for you. Give me a thumbs down if it didn't so everybody can see. Good luck, guys.